Going to cram schools has become one of the cultural traits or even a stereotype for Taiwanese and Asian students. But there is always a great variety of reasons behind this phenomena. Today, we are joined by Mr. Lin and Mr. Chen. Please introduce yourselves. Sure. I'm Lin. I'm the father with a son, Sam. Studying in S grade now, I hope my son can get better grades so I encourage him to go to cram school. I believe kids should go to cram school. Hi, I'm Chen. I've been teaching science in middle school for a few years. Personally, I think there's a reason why cram schools are everywhere in Taiwan, but I would rather my student pay more effort on my course materials than go to cram schools. Therefore, I am against kids go to cram schools. Okay, the stage is yours, Mr. Chen. Please share your perspective. Okay, first, what baffles me about going to cram school is just why, why bother? Most of the students I've seen keep ignoring or delaying the, their homework I give them while also not doing their best on the materials provided by their cram schools. Do you think cram schools can really improve the learning? The fact is that they won't even have time to finish either one of them. Well, in my opinion, if they are exposed to the materials more, they will suddenly become more familiar with them. Teachers teach once at school, and students can listen to lecture in cram school another time. They also provide lots of supplements. Students will soon remember the contents. No, please don't put it that way. As a professional educator, I will argue that it won't help. The arrangement and design of my course material and those in cram schools are not identical. We follow different ideologies and have different expectations on students when preparing these materials. However, we school teachers are the educator who understands our students better. I believe it is obvious that paying more attention and time on school courses will be much more effective. Then why there are so many cram school out there? Why students keep looking for cram school instead of focus, focusing on the courses at school? Now all, now all teachers at school are paying much attention on their teaching. You can promise your teaching quality, but you can promise the same for all the other teachers in school. Let's pause for a moment here. You've both stated your points well. Now let's focus back onto our question today. Mr. Chen, please continue. Thanks. Another point I would like to state is regarding extracurriculum time. So many Taiwanese students have daily schedules filled up with cram schools. They don't have enough time to develop their interests or just trying different things out. I don't think that is beneficial for the personal development of the kids. Huh. So now you know more about raising kids, huh? To me, it's just not practical to leave my own kids home and, and play online games for the whole night. I really pay money and send him to the cram schools to learn more. And that is an exploitation of their own free time. Kids need time to grow. I'm not a parent myself, but as an educator, I've learned my fair share about child development. I say you're killing your son's teenage years if you cram all their free time with studying. As a father myself, I would say your words are very offens offensive. I care about my own son. I want, I want him to become a better person. And I also wish that he can be well educated, go to a great high school and, and have a great resume when applying for college. If you blame me for exploiting my own kids, I will also blame your idealism, which doesn't even work in the face of our competitive society. Every parent wishes their kids can go to a great high school. It's not only about entrance exam. The competition on academic performance has long begun since they entered middle school. My son started to fall back on his grades and become very frustrated on learning last summer. And I believe applying for a cram school can help him to get back to his level. As a parent, it is my respon responsibility to give my son the best resources. And I think everyone should go to the same. I simply don't agree. For those who are not gifted, they should pay even more attention on developing their interests to find what are they really good at. Every kid has his or her talent. It just takes time. Huh. 
And you, that's one our the, the case system doesn't allow. Why do all parents want their children go to high school? That's because they are against us and back us all around vocational high schools. As an educator, you must understand how environment matters. Yes, environment matters. But don't put such a stereotypical tag on vocational high schools. I still want to argue that though they are young, kids are not stupid. They will adapt to the environment if they find their passion. They can develop their own way to follow it. You are the one that can provide Sam with such opportunities. I think you understand that. It all depends on how do you think. Thanks to both of you for sharing your opinions. Is there any questions you want to ask each other? This war is harsh. Even if our kids develop develop their own interests and try to follow their passion, there's always a certain tr- threshold you have to pass to go to good colleges or good companies. To me, going to crime school is an effective way to reach this criteria. How much can a regular school provide in terms of exam strategy and supplements? Do you think letting your kids go to cram school and go to grade high school is really the best arrangement for their life? When do you think they should become an independent person? Tens of thousands of students are go- still going to cram schools at this very moment. For many people, it's very much a part of their life. Parents want the best for their children. The children want to get ahead and hence cram schools. Cultivating interests is important, but in our competitive society, can we really afford that? From educators to teachers, parents, students, we are all part of the problem. Keep talking to each other. Keep the discussions alive. We'll see you next week.